Hi everyone, I'm Miss Tess and welcome to Apple Alfalfa and uh, today's story is Hungry Bunny by Claudia, Claudia Rueda and this is a funny, very funny story about a bunny who um, is hungry so he uh, goes out to an orchard to pick apples and you'll see how he uses his red scarf to help him uh, and it's quite a funny adventure and um, we even I'll even be moving the book a, a few different ways so it's pretty funny so come along on a journey with me okay hungry bunny by Claudia Rueda Grr. I can already hear his tummy rumbling here I come. He's very hungry, that bunny. Can you hear my tummy rumble? I'm one hungry bunny. See, he's rubbing his tummy. He's got his red scarf. And he's also got his red wagon to put the apples in. It's time for a red delicious and hard to reach apple. Oh, they're all up here. They're way up high. Do you see him struggling to reach? I wonder how he'll get up there. How will he get those apples down? Put on your thinking caps. Maybe you could help. Could you please shake the book so that the apples fall down? Sure, why not? Shake, 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 shake. Shit, shit, shit. That should loosen it. Okay. Not the leaves. Could you blow them away? See, he's covered in leaves and he's hoping those apples will fall right into the basket. Let's see if that works. Oh, that is, that's much better. Thank you. But look at his scarf. Oh no, my scarf has blown away too. It's stuck in the book. And I'm still hungry. Hmm. Could you help me grab my scarf? I can't reach it. Bunny's kind of sh kind of short. Okay, so, oh, here's the scarf, I got it. Now, will you place the scarf here for me and hold it tight? I can use it to climb the tree and pick those tasty apples, like a tightrope. Okay, there he goes. There go the apples. Okay, just one more. Looks like he's got five apples. One, two, three, four, five. Great teamwork. I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? Sure, why not? I'm running late. What an uphill battle. It certainly was hard to get those apples. So he's climbing up the hill to go home with his apples. Wait a minute. Why am I going uphill? It's not the way home. can fix that. Can you tilt the book for me? And now he'll go downhill. Get ready. Hang on. <gasps> Whee! Easy as pie. Now my wheels are turning faster and faster. And 
why don't we have even more fun? Would you rock the book back and forth? Okay. Be careful, bunny. Zowie, keep going. Oh my gosh, he's faster and faster and faster. <gasps> and get ready to <gasps> turn, turn, turn. Uh-oh, he's flipped over. Oh my word. And he's still going. <gasps> Uh-oh, get ready to tumble. Oh, the apples have popped out. Oh dear. <gasps> Oops. I guess I upset the apple cart. Where are all the apples? The cart is broken. The scarf is missing. Oh no. What will Bunny do? I think maybe he'll look for the apples. He'll go look for some of his things. Oh, here they are. What a good feeling. I'll just pick these up. They're okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, on the road again. Oh, but what's this? How will Bunny get across the two rocks, the two the space between the two rocks? You don't want him to fall? Hmm. Put on that thinking cap again. Hey, I think I'm going to need some help. Can you use my scarf to make a bridge? Why, sure we can. Let's see. This way and this way. See that? He's got his apples. He's going to walk across this tightrope. He's a pretty... Perfect. Thank you. I'm at the end of my rope. Good thing I'm almost home. What's this little rabbit hole? Gonna go through the oh, I'm stuck. Would you give me a little push, please? Push his little tiny in into the rabbit hole where his mother and his brothers and sisters are. Pop! Right on time for mom's apple pie. Nice, and he hands them to his brothers and sisters, and mom is mixing them up. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Yum! Looks delicious, the pie that she made. We saved a piece just for you. And Bunny would like to dedicate this book to you for all your help in the harvest. And it's also dedicated to children's play. Claudia Rueda um, wanted me to know that message. So that's the end of Hungry Bunny. I hope you enjoyed it. And please stay tuned for Apple Salsa. Bye. Hi, everybody. Miss Tess back once again. And um, going to take you through the the salsa that we're making and uh, also the craft. So in your kit, which you would have picked up, this is what you will find, the recipe, and some activity sheets, one or two to do at home. You also find the wreath that's cut out and a paper plate and some pre-cut apples which are fun to glue on to make a little craft to uh, re you know, reinforce, remind you of the story that uh, you heard earlier. Okay, so let's get started. So you'll notice the recipe says fruit salsa. You can use this recipe for other types of fruits. Uh, just it's, this, it's very basic. Uh, I just decided to do it with apples only, but um, it's a lot of fun, it's very tasty. All right, so let's get started. So I've got my apple. I've got, I'm using an apple cutter because it's easier to work with children, uh, with parents, hands on to slice it. If you don't have one, of course, you just cut the, the uh, apple ahead of them, ahead of, for them. And then you can probably give them a plastic knife or just guide them to start to teach them some knife cutting skills. Um, I got a bowl, 
I've got cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon we need, a quarter teaspoon. We've got a little bit of sugar, because the apples are not sweet enough. Um, but you can leave, leave that out, that's really optional for taste. Uh, we have lemon also, just in case um, you're gonna be serving it later, you wanna, it'll help um, stop the, it from turning brown, the apple from turning brown, sort of like a natural preservative. Um, doesn't really impart too much of a um, tart taste. Uh, a little spoon to mix. My measuring spoon, quarter teaspoon, is all you need or less. It's, it's a very flexible recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna slice the apple now. Okay. Pop them out. And now I have eight slices if you want to count them. Here's where the, you can incorporate the math in. Um, so I've got eight slices. So now I'm going to slice them a little smaller so that they're bite size. So I'm cutting in half. And now I've got two pieces. So I'm cutting it again and again. And now we've got four little pieces. This is about the size for, um, you know, mouth size. Okay, so that's good. So. I'll just continue along with the rest of those. And if you'd like, you can keep track of as you're cutting, how many pieces do we have now? How many pieces do we have now? You can, that way um, you're working on counting at the same time. And uh, yeah, so now I've got a bowl of cut apples. This is a green apple, I like green apples. Um, in the story, the bunny did go look for a red apple, but green apples are great. Uh, you can use Golden Delicious, uh, it's, it's your choice. Okay, so now I'm adding there's my cinnamon, I'm gonna measure it out. You can also just take a little pinch with your fingers, that would be great also. Sprinkling it on. Okay. And I am going to add the sugar because green apples are a little tart for me, so I wanna make it a little more appealing. So here's my sugar. So far it looks like this. And finally, I'm going to have this later, maybe with my lunch. So here is my lemon, squeezing it into a paper cup. Okay. You can also use, um, let's see, let's see that. Store-bought lemonade, uh, you know, lemon, you know in a bottle which is fine also if that's what you keep in your house um okay so i'm going to pour that on here's the fun part give it a mix oh, i can just hear all that crunchy goodness uh i prefer to leave the skin on it's you know, so full of vitamins and nutrients, uh, gives you a lot of nice fiber. Um, but again, that's your choice. And it's starting to really look nicely. It's getting like a little bit of a juiciness to it. Okay, and um, that's what it looks like. Uh, this is great, served with uh, uh, cinnamon chips or graham crackers, tasty little treat and uh, easy to make, probably with items that you normally have on hand at home. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to just quickly show you that craft once again. It's the wreath, okay, and let's see how many apples I had in here. Oh, so I, you've got the one, two, you've got about, you've got about six apples in there. Three different types of apples, like I said. 
So when I did this, when you do this craft, you'll use your glue stick or glue or tape. And then, um, you know, back or front is fine to glue them on. Since you have two of each, you can have that conversation with your child and say, do we want, do you want to do two apples, uh, two of the same color? We can work on pattern. Of course, you know, what color is this? Things like that. Um, so we can do two yellow. They may want to do a, a pattern. So yellow, red, and then green. Okay, and then yellow, red, and green. Um, you can encourage that. Um, you can also point out that red, yellow, and green are the colors of the stoplight outside so that the children are beginning to associate colors with the outside world and what they mean. Um, so there's that. And yeah, so you should have, you know, there's, there's six, you can put them around and then you'll have a cute little reminder of the apples that Hungry Bunny went picking the day he went apple picking. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. Post your pictures. Let us know if you liked it. And we'll see you soon at the library. Bye.